So I got this question, can I use my own domain with Squarespace? Yes, you absolutely can. You can connect a domain from any registrar to Squarespace. There are a couple of different methods and I'm going to show you how in this video. If we haven't met, I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace web designer based in Austin, Texas, and I wanna show you how to make the most of your website. Okay, as I mentioned, there are a few different ways to connect a domain to Squarespace. The first is you can just buy a domain at Squarespace. So if you don't have one yet, it's actually really easy just to get one at Squarespace. So how do we find the place inside Squarespace to get to your domain? It's a great question. Squarespace likes to move things around. They're constantly updating the platform. So my favorite way to find any kind of setting now is to click this search icon up top once you're logged into your website. If you don't see that, you can click the forward slash key on your keyboard and that will also open up the search menu. We'll type in domains. I'm gonna click on domains here and right off the bat, you can choose get a domain and Squarespace will walk you through choosing a domain that matches your site title here or you can search for a domain. Once you're ready, you add it to your cart and then you can click check out and it connects it to your website. So that's super easy. If you don't have a domain yet, it really is the fastest way to get a domain and connect it to your website. The other two methods I'm going to show you are using a domain that you own. So let's click use a domain I own. Okay, I've just typed in my domain. This one happens to be registered at GoDaddy. So I'll click the forward arrow and it's gonna tell me who my registrar is registered with GoDaddy. You can often transfer your domains to Squarespace. So if you are the type of person that wants to handle everything under one roof, you don't wanna ever have to log into another registrar again, then you can transfer your domain. I don't have that option today because I registered this today within the last 60 days. But if it's been longer than that, this is certainly an option to transfer it to Squarespace. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your domain from your registrar to Squarespace. All right, so you'll see here we have two options. It's actually saying that it's going to connect using name servers. Now within your registrar, there are two levels of control. One is name servers, and that means that all of the records are controlled by wherever those name servers live. So if we choose to move forward here with the name servers, that means that Squarespace is going to be in control of them so all of the records will now live at Squarespace. So if you ever needed to update any DNS records for this domain again, you would do that inside Squarespace. And I'll show you where, but you will still be paying GoDaddy for the domain. You just won't manage it there anymore. So let's go ahead and get started here. It wants me to sign into GoDaddy. I've already done that. And it's going to prompt me to open the DNS management. It will automatically pull that up for me because I'm logged in. And here I can just copy these name server records and add them to GoDaddy. So inside here in GoDaddy, I'm going to look for name servers. Again, the way this looks is different based on your domain name registrar. If you get stuck, reach out to your registrar support for help because they are all different. Okay, I've clicked name servers here to access those name servers. It's always called name servers, but where to find this is different based on your domain name registrar. So if you get stuck, reach out to your registrar for help. They're all a little different on how they work on the back end. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click change name servers. Say I'll use my own and I'm going to paste in the two options that Squarespace has given me here into these two name server areas and click save. All right, I'm clicking continue, saying it's fine. And it's gonna take a little while for this to update. So you can see my request is in progress. And if we click finish here, it will also let me know it's in progress. I'll click done. So we have a message here that connection is in progress. For name servers, it can take up to 24 hours for this connection process to go through. And then after that, it can take another additional 72 hours for the SSL certificate to process. Now, that means that you could have four days before your website is actually live. So if you are launching this yourself or working with clients, you wanna make sure and just be clear 
that it could be four days before your website is live with your domain name if you're using this process. All right, I promised I would show you where to edit the DNS settings going forward. So if you use that name server connection method, you're going to come into your domains, you're going to click the quindemo.com or whatever you use, and you're going to edit your DNS settings here. So you can see that Squarespace has already set up some default DNS records for us, but if you need to add any others, for example, for your email system, for SPF records, for your email marketing system, anything like that in the future, you're going to come here to add those inside Squarespace rather than going back to GoDaddy. All right, let me show you another method for connecting a domain that's at a different registrar. I'm going to go back to my domains panel and Again, use the domain I own. This time I'm going to paste in the domain name that I have registered at Namecheap. So it's a different domain registrar. And you'll see that the process is a little different. It starts out the same. Again, I don't have the option of transferring this domain because I just registered it. So it's gonna prompt me to connect the domain. You'll notice that the verbiage here is a little different, but again, it's prompting me to use those name servers at Squarespace. But let's say I don't want to. Let's say I want to manage my records at Namecheap from here on out. You can click No Use DNS Records. It knows that my provider is Namecheap, but if it doesn't, you can select it from this drop down menu or choose Other at the top and click Connect Domain. Now it's going to tell me that it is connecting to my site. Sometimes, if you have a provider that Squarespace works with pretty frequently, it will automatically add your DNS records for you and you are done. Otherwise, you have to copy and paste them yourself. So I'll click continue here. You'll see that these records are not found at Namecheap. So I'm going to go ahead, log into Namecheap and show you how to add these to my domain there. So at Namecheap, I'm here with my domain, quindemo.xyz, and I'm going to click Manage here. Now, there are a lot of settings, but what I'm looking for is the one that says DNS. That's where I'm going to put those records in. So I'll click that. There aren't any records here. Sometimes you'll see ones that are used for parking pages. If you're nervous, reach out to the domain name registrar and make sure that it's okay to delete them. I'm going to hop back into Squarespace and grab my host and then the data and copy and paste it over. So one thing I need to note is that these two first records are the CNAME type records. And that's going to be in a drop down here when I choose add a new record, CNAME record. I'm going to paste in my host and my data. Now, sometimes these have different labels. Like I said, every domain name registrar works a little differently. So you'll just need to figure out the mapping for the host and the value. I'm going to go ahead and add in these other records really quickly just by copying and pasting. You'll also notice that there's a TTL here. I leave that set to automatic or default at the registrar. It's time to live and the default is usually just fine. All right, I'm going to add my A records now. There are four of these, and I finished adding my records to my DNS inside my domain registrar Namecheap. All right, let's hop back over to Squarespace, refresh these records, and right now I'm seeing it's all green. Now, this can actually bounce around. It might look green once, and then if you re refresh again, you might actually see a red one here. It can take an hour or two for these to propagate and settle down. But normally, once they're all green for a couple of refreshes, you are good. You'll notice here, record not found, refresh, now it's found. Nothing to worry about there. The thing that you do want to keep in mind is similarly to when we connected the name servers, even though this domain is already connected, you'll see it is, ooh, it went fast. It already issued my SSL certificate. Sometimes that can take up to three days as well, but this one was miraculously fast. So if it is taking longer than three days, reach out to Squarespace support. Sometimes you get lucky, things happen fast, and the moment you finish entering in your records, everything is done and your website is live. Sometimes, like we see with this name server connection, it can take a while. It's still processing. 
And if I bounce back here, you'll see that because I have two domains here, I can set one as a primary domain. It's going to automatically do the one that you entered in first, but you can change that around and it will automatically create 301 redirects for all the other domains to point to the, your primary domain. If you found this helpful, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up below. That helps other people view my videos as well. And if you want more content like this, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.